Hey weirdos, welcome back. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. So we did a thing in the Facebook group. I had this photo submitted in this Manny Recreate Challenge and it won. So I have to recreate <laughs> something with this inspiration. So I reached out to my good buddy over at Pashi and she created this for me and I am so in love. She did an amazing job with these decals. I know that I don't do a whole lot of water slide decals and I don't really know why because it's so easy to get a gorgeous nail art look with these decals. So I'm going to show you how to do it and thank you also so much uh, uh, A to Pashi. <laughs> Love you to pieces and also to everyone who submitted photos for the Manny Recreate Challenge. This happened over on my Facebook group. If you want to check that out, I'll leave a link down below. I'm going to also use this color from Dip Nailed It. It's her definitely neon blue. And I figured not only does it go great with the decal, but from what I know at least, um, the classic Greek colors are like blue and white. And those images, by the way, are from Santorini, Greece. So that was the inspiration for that. I'm gonna get started. I'm gonna speed through dip application because I really wanna highlight the decals for this. If you want a very basic dip tutorial, I will leave that up in the cards and down in the box for you to check out. But I'm starting in on the nails that are going to have the decals. Decals are transparent. So I find it best to put them over a white background. So I'm just doing one dip of this milky white dip powder and that's gonna go on two nails. I'm only gonna do one dip. I do have builder gel over my natural nails, so I don't need the strength of dip powder. So one dip is fine for me, just as a background for those decals. And then I'm gonna do the definitely neon blue on the other three nails. Uh, so that's my game plan. That's my roadmap. And a little bit later, I'm gonna show you exactly how I do my decal application and cleanup. And I am gonna include in this video a tad teeny bit of filing. I was actually filing this manicure and doing a certain filing technique that I like to do. And I'm like, I should throw my camera on and film this because I think that a lot of you would find it interesting and maybe helpful, especially those of you who look at my nails and are like, how does she get her cuticles to look like that? I got you. I'm going to show you in a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and get this blue. I'm doing two dips of this blue on the other three nails that are not going to have the decal. And then I'm going to give you a couple of tips and tricks about clear encapsulation. I'm hopping in for a moment because you're gonna see right there, this dip powder, as is common with a lot of deeper or very pigmented colors, does stain, yes it does. On my skin, not so much, you're gonna see it cleans up beautifully, but as you saw, my base brush did become pigmented as well. And that's a pretty easy fix. I clean off my base brush on a lint-free or a paper towel or whatever, and the pigment doesn't ruin the rest of the bottle, I promise. But I should mention that if you do not clean off that brush, if you put that pigment back into the bottle, it can contaminate your entire bottle and it can cause a couple of things. It can cause your liquid to get kind of goopy, but it can also cause it to become tinted with whatever color was on your brush. So for example, if I were to use that base brush with the blue pigment on it, not cleaning it off on let's say a white manicure, with white dip powder, um, I could stain my white dip nails with a blue tint. You don't wanna do that, so clean off your brush if you're finding that the dip powder you're using is staining the brush a little bit. So I'm gonna go ahead and clear cap. I find it somewhat necessary to do clear encapsulations, mostly because when I go to file and buff, granted, I didn't have to do a whole lot of filing with this at all, but when you go to file and buff, you've got a decent chance at removing some of that color from the nail. So I find the clear protects the color. It also gives you added strength. I have builder gel on my natural nails, but 
for normal humans that don't use builder gel <laughs> because you keep manicures on for a few weeks. Clear dip powder is the most, the most strongest, <laughs> what? The strongest of all the acrylics. It is not compromised by pigment or glitter or anything. So that will help give your nails extra strength. It can prevent against cracking, chipping, breakage, what have you. So I'm gonna go ahead and do my clear cap. I'm gonna dust off excess, and then I'm gonna show you my trick for clear dip powder, especially over darker colors. If you've ever done clear over a blue or a black or a very deep color, and you noticed when you top coat, it looks bubbly or speckly, kind of like this, I can tell you how you're gonna fix it. You're gonna take a stiff scrubby brush after your base is set, after you've dusted off excess, and give that nail a good scrub. I am not being gentle. I am scrubbing like it's my job. And look at the difference. Now that is gonna make all the difference when you go to top coat your nails. So I'm gonna remove that dust from the other nails, and then we're gonna get into activator, and then I'm gonna show you this little filing technique that I love so much. Okay, so I've got this very thin, skinny, 100, 180 grit file, and I'm putting this right between where the dip is and my cuticle is. There's a microscopic space, and this is why I love the skinny, thin nail file. I can get right into that little gap and round out my cuticle area. This makes such a difference in the look of the finished nail. I do this literally every time I file now. I have not been using an e-file, which is, insane. Although I go through phases, like one month I'm like all about the e-file, the next month I'm like F the e-file. <laughs> this month I am pro hand filing. So I'm going to go ahead and do this on my thumbnail as well. And then I'm going to top coat the blue nails to get that out of the way. I'm going to use the DNI mirror no wipe hema free gel top. Everything I'm using by the way will be linked down below in case you want to grab anything or check anything out. So I'm going to top coat the blue and then we're going to get into the decals. So let's do the decals. Okay, I decided I wanted to do one of each, one of the Greek style houses and one of the ocean landscape, if you will. So here's what I'm gonna do. I cut out the decal as close as possible. Just because excess is just a pain in the ass, I'm gonna show you how to remove it later. I like to use a gel primer. It is tacky when it dries, so it adheres to the decal really well. You can use a sticky base coat, like a nail polish base coat if you want. Maniology has a great one, sticky base coat. That's the one you wanna get. So I'm gonna let the primer dry just for a few minutes, it's air dry. While it dries, I'm gonna take my decal and plop it in a little container of water. I'm gonna let it sit there and kind of do its thing for about 10 to 15 seconds. Then I'm gonna take a jelly stamper and I'm just gonna put it on top of the decal, push down a little bit into the water and it literally sticks right to the jelly stamper. And then you can slide the back off and there's your decal. No messing with tweezers or fumbling with your fingertips. The stamper is like my go-to hack for the decal. So I'm gonna just smooth out wrinkles, get rid of the excess water and press it right on the nail. And this is gonna be where your decal is gonna be. I like the clear stamper so you can kind of see through it, figure out where your placement's gonna be. And I'm just gonna smooth it out make sure it is adhered to the entire perimeter and center of the nail. And then once I get it where I want it, I'm gonna take a cleanup brush and a little bit of acetone, and I'm gonna clean around 
the decal around the perimeter of my nail, that will do two things. That will separate the excess from your nail. It'll also help to really adhere that decal to your nail. You're kind of like melting it into the perimeter of the nail. Um, so that's all I'm gonna do for that. I'm gonna do the other one off camera and then I'm going to apply a coat of gel base and a coat of gel top. If you do not wanna use any gel products for this, you super don't have to. I would not recommend dip liquids over decals. It's just not something that I would ever do. What you can do if you don't wanna use gel, throw on two coats of your favorite nail polish top coat, make sure you cap the edge and you'll be good to go. I'm gonna use gel base and gel top. I'm gonna to cap my free edge on the gel top and then you're gonna see the finished look. So here's the finished look, all top coated and glossy and gorgeous. I am obsessed with the way these came out. This blue is stunning, by the way. Pashi did an amazing job with these decals. Did you know that she can do custom decals? Cause she can. Go bother her. <laughs> Let her make all the things. Of course, I'm finishing up with my Candy Skincare Cuticle Oil. You gotta hydrate after all that acetone and alcohol, right? Um, let me know what you guys think. Let me know what do you feel about decals? Let me know if it's something that you do for nail art or if it's something you want to try. Thank you guys so much for hanging out and for being here. I hope you have an amazing rest of your day and I'll catch you in the next one. Love you. Bye.